Hi gang, SK Tech here. Fact, a new Galaxy Fold will be launched next month on the 10th and will be released on the 26th. And we're gonna talk about this today. First of all, let's talk about the Fold first. This year, Samsung is making three big changes to make the foldable more accessible for the masses. These three changes come from weight, size, and price. Fold 4 will be lighter than the previous model. It will be 260 gram or 9.27 ounce, while Fold 3 is 271 gram. It is less than 10 gram weight loss, so it might be nothing, I mean, negligible. But given the fact that the device will be slightly thinner and it is already packed with so many technologies, having a successful diet is very challenging. So I think this is a solid improvement. But to be fair, as much as I think the weight loss is a solid improvement, I don't think this is a huge leap forward because 263 gram is still very heavy for a phone. Nevertheless, the effort Samsung is putting shows the company is on the right track because weight has been one of the factors that turned many people around from the Z Fold. Samsung knows this and is trying to make Z Fold lighter. I want to see Z Fold becoming lighter and lighter like below 220 gram level in the future. And there is going to be a design change on the hinge. Thanks to this, Fold 4 will have a narrower gap between main display when folded, so it will make the phone feel thinner. I'm not sure whether this is a whole new redesign of the hinge, but it does have a major structural change. And let's talk about some numbers. Last year, Z Fold 3 shipment was 2.5 million versus 700,000 Galaxy Z Fold 2 shipment in 2020. When we add Z Flip to this number, Samsung takes whopping 61% of market share of the total foldable market in 2021. Samsung is aiming for a consolidation of the market share this year. For many of us, Galaxy Z Fold is still freaking expensive, so price drop is a must to achieve this goal. But there's a catch, and you will see why I'm saying this in this video, so keep watching. Anyways, this year, the price will be at least the same as the last year or could be slightly lower. It seems like the top management thinks they need to cut down the price to make it more accessible for the masses. So there is a very high possibility that we will see aggressive pricing strategy from Samsung next month. And this year, Samsung will launch customized One UI dedicated for Z series to maximize user experience on foldable display. Foldable phone users have been asking for this and finally Samsung will deliver. The main display will have the same ratio and same size, so the new customized version of One UI will be available to existing foldable phone too. And in terms of storage and chip, there will be 256 and 512 GB model with 12 GB of RAM. And according to the most recent leak, there will be a 128 GB model. It is unclear whether this model has the same 12 GB of RAM, but we all know this model will be less expensive than the other models. Samsung is launching a 128 GB model to lower the starting price, but can we really say this is a price decrease? Hmm? Anyways, all of these models will be powered by TSMC 4 nanometer Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 with the same battery size, so no Exynos at all. And there has been a lot of a rumor about the camera, and I can confirm the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will have 50 megapixel camera, that is 5 0. This is a meaningful upgrade from Z Fold 3's 12 megapixel camera. The camera on Z Fold 3 was somewhat below my expectation and not really super cool, so I like Samsung is giving us a camera upgrade. Also, Z Fold 4 will support S Pen like Fold 3, but there is no built-in S Pen in this device. I know, a lot of people are waiting for this, but we already have a flagship device with S Pen without inheriting the famous note naming scheme. So why would Samsung risk cannibalization? I want to see a built-in S Pen in Fold 2 in the future, but unless Samsung kills the built-in S Pen on the Ultra model, we're not going to have a built-in S Pen in the Fold. 
If you have a different idea, please let me know in the comment section because this is something that we need to talk more about because Gfold with built-in S Pen will be so super cool. And in terms of color, there will be Phantom Black, Gray Green, Burgundy Red, and Beige. So, allegedly Samsung is dropping Silver for Beige. And given Burgundy Red is available only for 2056 and 512GB model, it must be Samsung website exclusive model. And there is going to be major upgrades on the foldable main display. The Fold 4 will have a better and improved OLED material set which is called M12. And this OLED set is a next generation material to the S22 Ultra's display. Fold 3's display was already superb in terms of brightness and color saturation and we will have a better experience from Z Fold 4's display this year. And moreover, the crease on the inner display will be less pronounced thanks to better and improved UTG or ultra thin glass. Personally, the crease isn't that bothering to me after a couple of days, but it has been mentioned as a major downside since the beginning, so I think this is another technical breakthrough. Also, the display will be more scratch resistant. Geekbench is already out and it shows what Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 should show, so nothing special here. And there's one last thing that I want to mention about Galaxy Z Fold. This year's Z Fold will be the first generation of Fold lineup. That is not true according to Samsung, but only unofficially. Last year's Fold 3 is the first generation and this year's Fold 4 will be the second generation. When Samsung first launched the Galaxy Fold in 2019, it was kind of prototype and not really a complete device. Hinge got clunky over time, outer display looked kind of borrowed from a much smaller device, the main display was so fragile and it has huge selfie camera module that completely ruins the overall viewing experience. Fold 3 is what Samsung wanted to make and what they pictured when they started developing a foldable phone. In other words, Fold 4 will be the real photo phone that is true to Samsung's intention, dream, goal, and ambition by financing the technology. All in all, I think Galaxy Z Fold 4 will be one of the coolest phones of the year and I will cover this in my review in the future. Now let's talk about Fold 4. Unlike Fold 4, there is not many exciting things going on in this domain. Fully 4 will have the same ratio and the same design, but the main change or the only change is that Fully 4 will have a bigger battery, which is 3700 mAh. Fully 3 has 3300 mAh battery, so that is more than 10% increase. In terms of weight, Fully 4 will be 185 gram and Fully 3 is 183 gram, so Fully 4 will be marginally heavier or we would probably not feel any difference. It will come out in graphite, bora purple, pink gold, and blue. Interesting thing to me is Samsung seems to care more about purple because bora means purple in Korean, so Samsung is giving a special treat to purple color by giving them Korean name. I really want to see this color as soon as possible, and as a matter of fact, an official render image of S22 in Bora Purple was out yesterday and it looks way better and way cooler than I thought. If I'm buying a Z Flip 4, Bora Purple will definitely be my choice, no doubt. And price-wise, it is likely to see a price decrease just like the Fold 4. And this year, it is likely that we are going to see third foldable phone alongside with the Fold and Flip. There has been a rumor of third foldable phone which has a code name N4. Almost nothing is known about this device, but I will talk about this known but unknown phone in my next video. One thing that I can tell you right now about this phone is the real name could be Flop. Who knows? Thank you for watching my video today and please like, subscribe and tell me what you think about the new Galaxy Z series in the comment section below. See ya!